He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. This is Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming to you live early in the morning this Thursday. And it's, uh, it's 8 o'clock here at the CES 2014 Convention Hall. And uh, I'm sorry I can't be in my studio tonight, but uh, nothing better than being at CES. And I'm actually at the Tech Podcast TV Network. And I am going to give you a tour of our TV studio that, that's actually right here and show you what we do most of the day, at least when we're on the set. If we're not on the set, then we're walking around the uh, convention hall, which is enormous. It takes about two days constantly just walking back and forth just to cover half of what's here. So you get a feel for that. So what we'll do is uh, I'm going to bring you over right now and show you where we actually sit and do the live broadcast. This is actually where the broadcasters would sit. There's three of us here. We have the, uh, the let's say, the, uh, the trade show folks, the people with the equipment and uh, the new ideas and things. They're going to sit right here. And then we'll have two Tech Podcast Network hosts sit here and here. And uh, we use these headsets, uh, one, so we don't hear the background noise, two, so we can hear the uh, people who are controlling the equipment, giving us cues, telling us when we need to run commercials. Uh, that were too low or too high, things like that. So uh, the headsets really perform a variety of functions. Also, uh, on the actual microphone here, uh, it allows us, the three of us here, to hear each other because there's a tremendous amount of background noise. So that's why you always see the broadcasters on with, uh, with headsets. There are other ways to do that, but this is the way we choose to do it. Now, uh, Jack is actually running the camera, and he actually runs the TriCaster, and... Uh, Quite frankly, without Jack, uh, we, we, we wouldn't be able to get this done, believe me. So, uh, Jack, if you can just pan down a little bit and just give him a little tour of the cases and how tight the quarters are here. Sure, you can see all the, uh, all the equipment. Right here we have a, uh, a little monitor that we actually use to, uh, to see what the time is. We see camera one, we see camera two. These switch back and forth. But this is how the talent, meaning us, know what's actually going on. And over here, uh, this might be a tough shot for Jack to get, but uh, this is the, uh, the truss and the grid. And uh, this actually holds, uh, this is one of our main cameras. And then we switch camera one, camera two, camera three. And uh, Jack's actually you're giving you some footage of what the lighting grid looks like and how we hang the cameras. And we have all kinds of uh, SDI converters here. And, various pieces of electronics that actually will feed these signals back into the TriCaster, which is right here. Now, I'm moving over, and uh, Jack's probably going to want to come around here. I apologize for the video angles, but we're in real tight quarters here. And uh, this is where Jack sits for many hours during the day, and this is a tough, tough, tough job, because uh, if he makes a mistake, which he never does, uh, that goes live. He's got to watch the microphones, he's got to switch the commercials, the cameras, the whole bit. It's not an easy task. It's a very difficult task. But uh, this is the TriCaster that we use. Uh, this is the control surface. This is the, uh, the keyboard, and he has monitors here, which have a, uh, a variety of different types of information that we actually use to, uh, to manage the show. We have all kinds of clips and commercials queued up, uh, at, you know, announcements, things of that nature. Here we actually have shots one, two, three, four, five, and Jack is the producer and director of the entire show. And again, uh, he's he's a key guy. So there's a lot of buttons, a lot of switches, a lot of technology here. Crawling right along, uh, this is the audio section, and this is where we actually mix all the audio signal, where we have uh, all our microphones and. Uh, uh, headset systems that, that give us the sound and also give you the sound and uh, this is a whole whole separate system just just for audio now rolling right along here you're, you're fine Chris this is this is Chris and uh, Chris does everything that Jack does and helps Jack and feeds us the cues the monitors watches the audio it's it's a two-man job and uh, we're glad that you're here
trust me, we're glad that you're here. Now, as we come out over here, uh, today we're fortunate that we have Mr. Todd Cochran here, and Todd's going to come over and say a few words. He didn't know that he's going to say a few words, but I'm dragging everybody here. Right here we have Mr. Jamie Davis. Jamie, tell us about your podcast. I am uh, the host of the Health Tech Weekly podcast at htweekly.com. You can find me on Twitter at PodMedic. Jamie's a cool guy, very nice gentleman, and he has a great show. If you're interested in medical devices, medical things, and you're also a, a professional a nurse, nurse, too, and right? Paramedic. And a paramedic. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy to know, and we're very glad that he's on the set because you never know when we're going to need him. <laughs> okay, Todd's making his way over. Todd, good morning, good afternoon. It's, it's morning. Almost good it? evening. Yeah. This is Todd Cochran. Todd, tell us a little bit about Geek News Central. Well, everybody knows about it anyway. But Well, it's a tech show I do twice weekly, every Monday and Thursday night. 900-plus uh, episodes, so just check us out at geeknewscentral.com. Great. Todd's a very modest guy. Trust me, I know him well. Uh, he's the, 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 the genius behind all this. Uh, it wouldn't have ne we would have never had the Tech Podcast Network without Todd. And uh, Todd, it's a pleasure to know you. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, thanks for Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being by. here and helping and uh, doing everything you do, too. It's, well, uh, it's fun and I'm, it's an honor to work with you. Yeah, thanks and for uh, taking a tour of the booth. Don't forget our, uh, our oh my green God. room person. That's right. This is probably the most important key link to the situation. This young lady here, one of my favorite people. This is Sherry. And tell us what you do. Um, I'm a cat herder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> She's a cat herder. Believe me, uh, this backs up. This is the queue where people come from, from all over the exhibit hall. And I got to tell you, there's like 5, 10, 15 people here holding equipment, and they don't come with you know a single person. They bring their director of marketing, their product manager. There's like five people here, and they're all waiting to get right up there to that desk uh, to get behind the camera. So thank God for this young lady here, Sherry, because she... She manages all these people, and uh, the other thing that she does, and she has a very interesting and cool technique, uh, we try to keep it at 10 minutes, because otherwise we'd never get through the day. Every 10 minutes we have a new product. Well, Sherry actually goes over here and yanks them right off the seat. Just get out of here. And uh, then we bring the next person up. So uh, without her, believe me, uh, we, we would never be able to do what we do. And she gives him a hug, too. And then, uh, last but not least, I see Daniel Lewis. Daniel, come on over here. This is my friend, Daniel Lewis. Now, this guy, again, another modest person, very intelligent, very bright. Uh, he amazes me with his skill sets. Uh, there's not much that he doesn't do, and if you really want to get some knowledge, uh, you're an audacity superstar, super expert. He has an incredible pot. In fact, let me let me have him tell you about his podcast. Well, I have the award-winning how-to podcast about podcasting and a little bit about how to use audacity, but it's primarily about podcasting, giving the boldness, the tools, the guts for people to podcast over at theaudacitypodcast.com. Uh, if you really want to get into the tech stuff and how to, how to be a good podcaster, very, very modest guy, one of the nicest guys that I know, easy to work with, will do anybody a favor, just like that. He's helped me out many a time. Uh, check out Daniel Lewis and his podcast. And folks, that's going to, thanks Daniel, that is going to wrap it up. I know it's an abbreviated, uh, that's okay Sherry, I'll move over here. <laughs> I know it's an abbreviated show tonight, but uh, we're busy here, so uh, thank you for tuning in. And stay tuned. Also, check the yeah, tech. Check the tech. Hot, whew, let's try it again. Check out the Tech Podcast Network, TPN.TV, for all the coverage. We're going to run all day Thursday and all day Friday. And also, everything is archived. So if you think you've missed something, you haven't. Actually, just go on to TPN.TV, and you're going to see tons of stuff, even in the next couple weeks coming up. And uh, it's well worth your time. Anything that's new or cool, it's here. This is Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, saying so long from CES 2014. I'll see everybody next Thursday. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain, Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email 
at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Thank <laughs> you.